In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make crucial backups of your Windows registry files and system files by using a free program called eRunt, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's been out for a long time now um, but it's a really good program, it's probably one of the best out there to use And uh, but there's been some big changes with uh, Vista and Windows 7 so I'm going to show you how to get this working with Windows 7 so you can continually lose this uh, great um, program it really is uh, a lifesaver and uh, people need to be backing up their registry and system files on a regular basis because if there's a big crash from their system uh, by using this program you'll be able to get that back up and running so let's have a little look at the program itself I'm going to install it now it's very simple to install uh, we need to do is just go through the motions here click next next um, this is going to install and put um, two shortcuts on the desktop and uh, this one NT Reg Opt Opt you can see it there it's called a uh, NT Registry Optimization tool uh, I don't really use that but I'm um, going to install it just for this purpose anyway but uh, you shouldn't be doing optimization to the registry really it's very dodgy uh, let's install this and uh, create an entry start a folder say yes take that tick out and go finished okay so click OK here and we want to leave these two ticks in and you can see the date there I'm going to click OK go yeah I'm deleting it because it's already been on my system I'm just reinstalling it really so click OK OK so that's where we are at the moment and it's now put two icons on my desktop which are to do with this program this is the optimization tool which I said I don't really use that but I really use the uh, backup now you can do manual backups but I want it to do it all automatically for me so this is where the ch the problem happens to be with Windows 7 I can make some changes to do it so it actually does it automatically for me so what we need to do is go to our C root directory and Windows this is where it will put all the that ERDNT this is where it's going to put all our backups okay of our files that we want so let's go back and uh, go back to program files and go into eRun and on here we need to make some changes what we need to do is right click on auto backup.exe go properties then compatibility and we need to run this as administrator okay otherwise if you don't do this you're going to get error messages and same thing for erun.exe okay run as administrator incompatibility otherwise you will get errors okay so that's that done now so I want to set up a task now a, t a scheduled task so it can actually do it for me when I reboot the system so what I need to do is go start control panel it's just a uh, downsize that a tad okay so from there we need to go to uh, system and security administrative tools and then go to task scheduler so go in there put these down we don't need these anymore okay so uh, from here we want to go actions and we want to go create a basic task we can call this uh, whatever you like here so um, you run back up and down there oh there we go this keyboard's crap I keep saying it I should change it okay so what we need to do there is go next on our trigger we need to change to uh, when the computer starts and then go next and then start a program that's what we want to do for our action go next and then in here we need to go to browse okay we need to browse to our auto backup this is in our programs file uh, location okay we need to go to here and click on the auto backup.exe and that's now put the path in there okay now I want to do an option here as well um, so I want to actually put this option in 
this is the option I want to put in there I want to put this option in there okay now I can type this out in front of you if I want you to but it takes too long so I'm just gonna go like this now what that's gonna do is you could by default it's uh, 30 days so this would be 30 by default you can change it to whenever you like okay so basically um, I think it deletes the old backups every 30 days but the problem is the backups are so large they're on a scale of 70 to 100 megs depending on how much data you've got in your system now if that's keeping those in there for 30 days and every time you reboot your PC they're gonna be masses of backups in there so what I'd suggest is lowering the days down to about five and that way you're always gonna have backups in there but it's gonna delete every five days okay so I hope that clears that up for you so I will put that in there so you don't have to type it out same as me because it is a bit of a nightmare so go next and uh, another one we want to do is open up the properties dialog box put the tick in there okay when we're finished click finished and this will open up our dialog box the first thing I want to do is put run with the highest privileges uh, in there okay put that tick in there and uh, also we want to change the user and group we want to put system in here like so click OK and you'll see it change there okay that's changed so the next thing we want to do is go to let's have a little look okay so I think that's it yep that's it okay so that's all done and basically you can see it all there it's all been set up so click OK at this stage and basically once we reboot our system we should see our task we well, can see it in here at startup it's ready to back up okay these are the ones that I've got running these tasks and as you can see it's already set ready to go so every time I reboot the system it will actually make a backup so I hope this has been some use to you when it makes a backup let me just uh, show you this before I go anyway so when it makes a backup it will actually put backups inside your windows and in our ERDNT okay it will be in here you should have two folders in there one called auto backup and one just a normal backup okay so that's what you need to look out for it does work get it set up and let it do it for you without you even worrying about it my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope you enjoy these videos if you do enjoy my videos please remember hit the subscribe button show your support and uh, get yourself over to the forums start posting over there, you got any problems also post them on the forums uh, any questions or anything like that you can also private message me or any video requests you can either put it on the forum or send me a private message thanks again guys thanks for your support enjoy your computer bye for now